stop singing, you get messed up. Okay, yeah. just keep singing. Okay, don't stop. So let's do the chorus one more time. I, ne I never knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, we're doing okay. Okay, she did get it So, no, 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 she's not bringing Gonna actually get here and uh, be able to relax for a minute. Still gotta set up everything in the front. Got people looking for these clipboards. Got another art piece I gotta put together on the fly. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Goodness. Uh, it's been so much happening, but all they have to do is guide those kids on. Once those kids see the lights and see the cameras and see the people out there, they're going to have such a great time. It's fun, you know, everyone's smiling and laughing and the kids are just really enjoying themselves. You can feel the energy, it's very positive, so it's awesome. It's all a it's all a part of show business. I mean, of course you're gonna be a little nervous, but once you get out there. What's the matter? You ready for red carpet? Are you ready for red carpet? Look at you, Suki. Who made you so pretty? Carpet. Okay. Um, okay. So please hurry up. Yes. Rockstar. Yes, you're a movie star now. What's going on? Rockstar. Yeah. You're a performer yes. now. I got my glove. You got your glove. Yes. You are ready. You are ready okay, for I'm some Michael Jackson. We, let's take the kids that are done and put them in the boys' room. All right. Whoever is done. You're who, done. Who's right done with you? With me. I'm a little nervous, <laughs> but I guess every parent's all right. Waiting for showtime. Uh, All right, come on. Right come on, wait, stop, uh, stop, stop. Bro. I know, but you can put this on when you get out here. Yeah. Happy? Yeah. We did it. yeah. So go hang out in there, okay, Suki? Everybody's in right. order, everything is in order, and it's gonna work out great. I just gotta remember some things I need to do. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get rehearsal going. I just gotta speak to Irene. Irene! Yep, we're ready to go to Lifelong Dreams. Everybody ready to go? Yeah. You know, everybody else just mainly just <laughs> says, okay kids, let's go. And they just run, jump in the car and, you know, we ride off or go ahead, get dressed, it's time to go. Whereas yeah. we don't do that. You got your phone, James? Okay. Go out, nigga, bad. Yep, we're going to LLD in the van. It's so much of an issue, it's you no know, part of our daily life. You know, we all help each other. We, you know, my wife and myself, we get our kids dressed and, you know, get them ready to go. And then we have to load them up in the van. We, you know, it would be nice if it was just a seat belt, but we have to make sure that the wheelchairs are secure, especially that power wheelchair, because it's sort of heavy. What we do is we get, let James get in first. Is it raining? Yeah. So what you trying to do, knock the rain away? Where do you think we're going? Are you happy to go there? What you want to do when you get there? Hey, 
You can't watch that. You can dance and you can sing. Who are you gonna dance with? Okay, come on, let's go. Bye. Bye. Uh -uh. He did. Oh, okay. Her name is okay. Janet Odom and her name is China Jones. How does it feel to have this camera here? You like it? <laughs> you like it, China? Yeah. You're a born performer. Born. <laughs> She loves to perform. In fact, I didn't realize how much she loved to perform until they had their major performance, and she took a bow after her performance. Um, my sister found it um, online. I was trying to get Lily in a dance class because she likes to dance. Yeah. And um, a lot of the places that I called, because I, I would tell them that she was disabled, and, and then they would be like, oh, well, we have to see her first, see where they would place her. Like, it was like really difficult. So that's how we found them. How you guys doing back there? Good. Yeah, are we getting close? Yeah, yeah, we are getting close. And I always go up the wrong way, and I'm going to go the right way this time. Um, she used to have a problem when we came to red lights. She would get really upset. So um, it was one of my friends who came up with the idea for her to snap her fingers. And so now, normally, she'll do that, and she doesn't get upset anymore. So that was a good thing. And Lily likes it a lot. It, um it helped her come, came out, come out of her shell. Yeah. Yeah. Huh, Lily? Yeah. I don't really take her out. Um, when I used to take her places, like a lot of the like the kids would be like, "What's wrong with her?" Like they treat her different, you know. So, so I kind of like she like she's usually by herself. My name is Genevieve Du. I've been involved with lifelong dreams, uh, like I said, since day one. I, I sing throughout Las Vegas internationally and I use my talents to help share with kids. A, a friend called and said, hey, I need your help. I've been with Lifelong Dreams ever since. My role with Lifelong Dreams is to help bring kids into our organization, to put our music classes together as far as the teaching, and try to make sure everything runs smoothly. Uh, Lifelong Dreams has been around for seven years. Uh, my name is Danny Titus, and uh, I am the president of Lifelong Dreams. Uh, Lifelong Dreams is an organization that works with special needs children and young adults through the arts. We use the arts to help them find different ways to explore and express themselves. Singing, dancing, and painting and drawing. And we are actually in the process of adding photography, videography, and graphic design and more music classes. When I was asked to be on the board, I thought about it for a while, and then one day I walked in on a class, and the students came to me, and they hugged me, and they all called my name, and, and then that's when I started actually seriously considering it. Hello, everybody. Hi, how are you? Those are my sons. The big one is James, Hi, and the little one is Joshua. James has been with Lifelong Dreams since it started. Joshua, gosh, he has the most beautiful eyes. Uh, that is James's twin. And Joshua, uh, cerebral palsy is a little extreme. Lily, Joshua, look. Look at this beautiful little girl here. Look over here, Joshua. There you go. <laughs> Say hi to Lily. This is Joshua. Hi, Joshua. When Joshua walks in the room, and he's looking around, and I'll stand in front of him. I'll say, Joshua. And it takes him a minute to come into focus. But man, once those brown eyes hit you, those long eyelashes, he starts to smile, I start to smile, and he has a good time. That's a beautiful blue dress. <laughs> oh, good to see uh, you. How are you. I remember you. Yeah. I see. All those pretty colors. Turn around. Lily. Lily is just a flower, just like her name, Lily. She is just a sweet spirit. She speaks very softly. 
And when she says, I miss you, she really misses you. She throws her, arm, her arms around you and she's, I miss you, you know? Whoa. Look in the camera so they can see it. <laughs> Shuki. Shukiria. We call her Shuki. Uh, she has Down syndrome. And Shuki is just energy. Oh. Have fun. Um. So have to be ready by Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Say, She's lots of energy and she loves to dance. You put a record on for Shooky, she's gonna do her thing. Happy, 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 happy. So what's your name? Mikey. Mikey? And what are you doing right now? Good taping what where she's painting. Nice, it looks good. You do this a lot? Yeah. Cool. Mikey. Mikey has autism. And when I think back when Mikey first came, uh, he didn't want to do anything. Mikey didn't want to dance. Mikey didn't want to sing. He wanted to just lean against the walls. Nope, not dancing. Nope, don't want to sing. I said, well, can you work the recorder for me? And it was like a light bulb came on. I just videotape what they're doing so that way they can, so people, other people can see what we're doing, we do here. Nice. We kind of moved into the area of technical expertise versus uh, the whole creative world. And it seemed like that was what he was really interested in. So when I met Danny, um, he was into his rock. R&B type of feel. So he wants to be a singer. And that's okay, because he does pretty good, that's for sure, and it's just, we do some one-on-one, -on -one, I said it'll get better and better. Because I don't want the kids to be at a standstill. I want to see the growth in them. Here come the news, talking this and that. Okay, you got this is right on it. Uh, yeah. What we're looking at is the artwork for Nicole, yeah. one of our students. Would you like to paint another one, sweetie? Yeah. Yeah. Nicole gets into her world of painting, and she's a wonderful painter. It doesn't take her long for her imagination to go and put those watercolors together, and there you are. And uh, she did these a while ago, and she always wanted to have them as a book. So I told her mother that we'd make a book out of them. So um, when she comes to Lifelong Dreams, she goes right to the paint department, puts up her easel, and starts to paint. And she stays focused there. So here is the endangered animals, mm -hmm. the ABCs. OK. We, I sent them to the publisher today. Oh, did you? Yeah. That's awesome. Um, China is one of our students, and she's been with Lifelong Dreams for about, I think, five years. Now I'm going to get emotional because um, China was very quiet, didn't really talk to anybody, didn't really do anything, just watched her Barney videos all the time. What's your favorite song? Lion King. Lion King? Oh. And you like one other person that's really good, Justin. Mm -hmm. Simply. Simply. Yes. Her personality is a sweet one. You like his music? Or his music. And his dance? Yeah. Oh, okay. And just like some of the kids, you know, and all of us have our bad days and good days. I'm not quite sure if I've seen a bad day with China. You think he's cute? You think. You do? <laughs> so um, her spirit is really. She's a good spirit, and she's always willing to learn new things. The main challenge for finding volunteers is, number one, all of our volunteers are unpaid. <laughs> Hi, James. Hey. How are you? Good. Now, you're not going to believe this, but I want you to repeat why you volunteered with Lifelong Dreams. Because of this young man right here. Oh, come on. Yeah. 
sometimes. Well, because he needed you. He got me. <laughs> so they have to really feel it in their hearts to come week after week, give of their time, give of themselves, and try to connect with the students. Our music instructor, who is Lady V, has been with us almost since the beginning. I'm the vocal teacher, and I've been that for, you know, ever since I've been with Life on Dreams. We now have a good art instructor who comes every week and works with the kids in the art program. I'm uh, Michael Reddick, the uh, art instructor. Michael is a great, great artist. We just get them set up and let them go, let them do whatever they need to do. And he's learning the different aspects of being an instructor. This is Who's this? And this I'm is Ricardo. 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 Hi. Good to meet you. Great Ricardo. to meet you. Got a great smile. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Ricardo is our newest and greatest choreographer. Okay. I'm excited awesome. to come on board, yeah. Awesome. We're happy to have you. <laughs> My name is Ricardo Perel. I am a choreographer. I will be choreographing a couple or a few numbers for the event called Revealing the Magic of Our Chest of Dreams. Uh, we're talking about our annual show. It's basically our annual fundraiser, which we have not been able to do for a couple of years because of a lot of different reasons. This year's show is called Revealing Our Chest of Dreams. And the kids are the ones who have the dreams. All of us have a dream. And we want someone to see our dream or to participate in our dream, to be part of our dream. We ask them, what's your dream? You know, who would you like to meet? Or what is your favorite song? And who sings that song? It was actually a concept that was given to me by uh, Joyce Markham. And Joyce came in and she shared a project that she'd been working on, and it involved a chest. It means we all have inside of us a little box. It's just like you're bottled up and you need to let it go. And we threw it back and forth and she said, well, what about the chest of dreams? And I just fell in love with it as soon as I heard it. We got the answers, and once we got the answers, then we went into, okay, how are we going to get this done? When I met Danny, he expressed the fact that he likes Lady Gaga. This is Katie Steele. She's one of the wonderful performers in Legends, and she has been so kind as to come and be a part of our show for our, our lifelong dreams, and she is going to be the fabulous Miss Lady Gaga. And she's going to be working with Danny here. Uh, he's not afraid to express himself. And when he came to Lifelong Dreams and knowing there was going to be a show, he picked out his song. We said, OK. He let me know that he can sing. Do you want to hear me sing? I said, sure, let's go in the room and put on a record or a song. And, yeah. Yeah. So, so try this? to move around. This is the ball. She wore a ball on the front That's of the That's how much yeah, I know about I Lady know. Gaga, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep up with her either. <laughs> okay. No, the guy that uh, Shuki doesn't speak very well. However, the song that she chose, Blue Hawaiian. <laughs> She loved Elvis, and when we were rehearsing for that, she was getting the words Blue Hawaiian out. I said, my gosh, you know the song? Come with me. So are we. Lady V? Yeah. You like her? Yeah. She she teaches you a lot? Mm -hmm. She makes you sing sometimes by yourself? Yeah. I'm not talking about the CD, we do. Okay, so that's how how many how many times? Four. Thank you. <laughs> 
James has opened up. Um, James is out front, just like the way we want lifelong dreams to run is the kids, is they're the stars. So he looks forward to when I say, James, we've got to choose a song. And he says, okay, I'll work on that. He works on it. He comes up with another song that he knows and how we can use it. And when he learns a song, I break it down for him, line by line. Mikey's gonna be a paparazzi. So he's gonna, he's gonna work the stage, taking pictures, doing whatever. You know what a paparazzi is? Working. That's the guy that goes around and takes pictures of everybody and everything that's going on. How's that sound? I think uh, with autistic children, you have to find the button that's going to light them up. And with Mikey, it's photography. It's videography. Okay, she'll be in a yeah. bit. Okay, I want to yeah, make sure right. that you're happy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've got a photographer's vest that he can wear. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna hook him up. Yeah, we might even go old school on him and uh, get the uh, fedora with the with the front push. We chose the happy song for the finale of this year's performance. Uh, because I was looking uh, online, and then I found out that there were a couple of thousand versions of it on the web. So I spent uh, about a week watching all of them. And I started dancing around the place, and uh, at that point I knew I had the finale for our show. <laughs> Originally in the beginning, she was still a little shy, but the kids welcomed her with open arms, and you know she would tell me, "Oh, well, I'm only gonna do one song." Yeah, so. That fast. Ready? Go. Long, long. It's like okay, and then once we got there at practice, she would just forget about all oh, the one song and stay the whole day, and then afterwards, oh, wow, I had a great time, you know. So. I kept her involved. Oh. <laughs> Say hello to everyone. Say hi. Well, Wait, you, what do I want to know? What would you know? Uh, Say yeah. I'm ready to work. Yeah. Yeah. Say I'm ready to work. Yeah. I think it's a really good organization. And um, I just wish more people knew about it. To see the joy on the kids' faces when they they learn a song or when they learn a dance, it's just, it, it, it goes with our saying, you know, uh, our motto is, uh, my only special need is to perform. And that basically says it all. What's your favorite part about coming to Life Functions? I come here to like, to, to uh, videotape other people, I hear that so, I can, so that other people can see what we do here. You can, it's cool that you can videotape our people, see what they do and why. The next step? Uh, to come up what you do. You want to do what we do? If I gave you a camera, you think you'd be able to do that? Yeah. You, you want to make documentaries? Okay. We're leaving the house and going on grandma's. We're leaving the house again. Come on. Cheese, uh, action. No. Oh. Okay, we'll still, mommy. Stop moving. Someone can film you. Your Uncle Raymond. Hi. 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 Getting ready to go to have breakfast. Did you get him? Yeah, I got him, mom. Have Hi. breakfast with Aunt Kathy. Where's your grandma? I got him. 
I'm gonna have breakfast with my grandma. Oh, you got a camera! You know, people don't know how to look at the kids. They see them as different. And when you get to know them, they're not. They, they, they can do just about anything anybody else can do. Maybe a little different, maybe not as quick. But they've got the abilities. They just need to be given the chances. The feedback from the kids is just instant love and instant gratification. It just happens. They just express themselves the best way that they can. I got something for you. Huh? How's your brother doing? Okay. Let's see what we got here. That one. This is the one that goes this way and then that way. These are books that she made. She um, she drew and made her um, a book on endangered animals. How do you like your books? It's great. What beauty. You saw them. They're all published now. Congratulations. Yeah. Yay. Oh, I think that's awesome. Three sharks hunting. Oh, man. I can't. I can't. Four seals barking. <laughs> Nicole, this is awesome. Do you get shy when you're on stage sometimes? No, I just get a little nervous when I've got to go on stage, but that's a good thing. And you should be nervous. Mm -hmm. You don't want to take anything for granted because you got to concentrate yeah. on what you're doing. That's the main thing about lifelong dreams is taking, you know, children with, I know there's probably another term for it, but with disabilities and giving them an outlet where they can actually perform, you know, and just be in the spotlight, you know, and it's so cool. And you see people, they start out, and they might be shy or not want to perform or something like that, and then they get used to it, and then usually they start liking it. I've always believed in, in lifelong dreams, and I've always believed that uh, the mission was a great mission because I've seen what the students can do, and I know what they haven't been allowed to do prior to lifelong dreams. They basically were just kind of tolerated. They were not given any kind of encouragement to find out who they were and what they could do on the creative side. And what I found is that uh, our students are very creative and they surprise me every week. And every week we get a new student that comes in and it just makes me understand even more what the capabilities are because it's endless. It's endless. So this is going to be a really big deal for you. you yeah. You're the star. You're the star, man. This is you guys show. Yeah. Hi. You ready today? Yeah. Feeling good? This is it. Stay on the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good to go. Ready, Lily? I know it's exciting, right, Lily? All this work. Today's the final day. <laughs> Anything? Uh, not yet. <laughs> you got your tickets there? You got your tickets ready to go? Um, yes. Last time, when we first joined, um, they had a show, but like since you, we just joined, like we couldn't like be in it. So this is her first big show. And she's a little nervous. Are you a little nervous, Lily? Yes. Yeah? But you practice though, right? Yeah. You know, he's done his work. You can't just go into rehearsal without practicing anyways. You know, all the kids have practiced so hard. And 
a lot of people don't realize that, you know, stuff other people take for granted, our kids have to work hard at, but they're used to working hard because everything they've done, everything they've gotten, they've had to work hard at. Okay, we got a hill, so don't run away. Lily didn't want to help me decorate her skirt. You see that? <laughs> I was like, come on, Lily, help me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's James and Joshua. Look, you want to go say hi? Come on. Yeah? yeah? You want to go say hi to them? I need to go my house. Yeah? All right. James and Joshua are my friend. I asked him to be my friend. Yeah, he's your friend. Oh, look, it's only... Hi, James! You excited? All right. Just so cool. Cause, you know, we're all friends and everything, but this is what we work for. You know? All sometimes for a year. This has been a short one. We're gonna go through the little door, right? Yeah. I'll walk you through the show, okay? So you know where you're gonna be, alright? This way, Miss Lily, to the left. Yeah, come on. I love your neck. Oh, that's oh, cute. Shoot. <laughs> Look at these nails. My, my God, yeah. See the stage up there? Yeah. That's where you're going to be. Okay. Is that nice? Yeah. You see all these seats? Yeah. Am I following you? You're going to have fun. Oh, yes, yes, you are. Okay. Yeah. Yes, we're going to have fun today, okay? <laughs> yes? It's going to be a Friday day. I don't think she's nervous at all. I think she's just excited. Right. She doesn't have any nerves. Hey, how you doing? Oh no, he's not feeling well. He's not good at all. Well, you took him off of him. Show starts in eight minutes. You're gonna be good. You're gonna be good. Oh, how pretty! Pretty lips. That's so pretty. You go. Come on. She didn't want no makeup. She just wanted a little bit of lipstick. She's so pretty. Anybody else need makeup? Hey, thank you. Oh man, it's so exciting. It's always this time that's the most exciting. My son's excited. Um, the crowd is coming in. They just did the red carpet. This is so cool. You too. I'm uh, filming the show while they're performing and try to capture all the stuff. Feedback from the red carpet. Lily, do you love it? Yeah. Let me touch it. Let me see. It's so flat. Are you nervous? A little bit. But again, over. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's been so much happening. Danny. Ladies and gentlemen, Danny. So, I understand um, you like a magic dream to happen here. Yes. Yeah, well, who is it you want to see? Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Wow. So, uh, Mark, Lady Gaga, you think that you can make that happen? Uh oh. When I saw Danny, uh, he says, You're going to work. I said, I'm going to work with you. I said, We're going to do a one on one so that we have plenty of time. Whoa, you're getting your wings. Close your eyes. And maybe that's what happened for you. <gasps> Danny, look. Woo! I'm here to fulfill uh, a boy's name by the name of Danny. He has 
dream, his lifelong dream is to perform with Lady Gaga. Because I think that this is what it's about as an artist, is not only being able to utilize yourself in your career, but also to be able to utilize yourself in the community to do, to do better for you know, those that need it, those that need that encouragement and um, that inspiration. Everybody makes some noise for Danny. Doesn't he look amazing in his wings? We want to see all your monster paws. Come on. All right, Danny, do the dance for me. But Danny knows his dance steps. I think he just needs some coaching. You can do that part. And once he's coached on how to do something, he gets it. Just to show you how to do this. Watch Chris. Roll my hair and put my lips in the air. In the glass of her good wine. Nothing wrong with love and who you are. She said, hold your head. When I told him, I said, Danny, I said, you can't sing and dance, you know, three or four times a day. It has to happen once, and that's when the show is going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Just be a queen, don't be a drag, just be a queen, don't be a drag, just be the next verse. Okay. <laughs> not afraid to express himself. He's just excited. He was re he was really excited about it. Um, I want to tell to all the teenagers to be yourself, be who you are, and be yourself. Be happy about who you are. Yeah. Right. Okay. You were born this way. She likes to cheat a little bit too. Okay. Oh, open your eyes. What we had to focus with Shooky is, you can do your thing, but you have to do our thing. And blue eyes. So that means learning certain dance steps. And blue eyes. Good night. With all this loveliness, there must be love. You know, some of the challenges with, with Shooky is getting her tuned in. Once she got tuned in to put her mind into, okay, I got to learn this dance. And getting her mind there, it was important because now she has a part in the show. It was a challenge for Shooky, but she was learning her part and she did it very well. This magic night of night. When she first started, I think it was a challenge for her because we do a lot of movement and Lily wasn't used to that movement. <laughs> don't, don't 
you ever come around here? Don't wanna stay the best, you better be it. And the words are really clear, so be it. Yeah, just be it. Sometimes Lily's limbs get a little tired, a little quicker. Her feet start to hurt. Just beat it, beat it, Lord. Beat it! Beat it, beat it. Oh so, Lily, you can do this, you know. Every week we're going to do something like this. I say, just got to work harder. She says, okay. And as I start pumping her up for the show, she was really getting more into it. But she's a real sweetheart. Who's your favorite artist? Brian McKnight. Brian McKnight. Yeah, we like him a lot. Isn't she lovely? It's undeniable that we should be together. She's very coherent. She can see everything, and she knows what she wants to do. That's what's really interesting about a lot of our kids. China's main challenge is um, moving as quickly in the dance classes. Okay, so let's try again. Ready, go. You're like a green cup, no Just wanna be with you. I think the effect has been happier for her. It gives her something else to do, some things that uh, she likes to sing, she likes to dance. And where else can she do that and be free about it? This is Nicole. She's a wonderful artist. Nicole wants to save all our animals and our planet. Uh, we're also going to have, during the Earth Song, um, we have these, uh, what are they called, Danny? Uh, it's just foam core boards. Foam, co foam cardboard. What about rain? What about when Nicole came to Lifelong Dreams, again, it's just finding out what they do. Let me explain to you guys what this is. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be the earthy song. Hands in the shirt. Okay. <laughs> Nicole is going to be painting, all right? Oh, it's okay. What do they want to do? What is their gift? Because all of them have a gift. So we can get the kids used to holding those and walking across the stage. Saving the Earth. Nicole gets into her world of painting. When she comes to Lifelong Dreams, she goes right to the paint department, puts up her easel, and starts to paint. Yeah, this is her first uh, performance. So she's really excited, and <laughs> she's just worried about getting her nails polished before the show. <laughs> Nicole does a beautiful, beautiful job. And she's a wonderful painter. It doesn't take her long for her imagination to go and put those watercolors together, and there you are.
Mr. James Hillsman. He, even in his chair, James, James memorizes the steps. and can almost tell the instructor, nope, that's not next, this is next. And he wills his chair and moves his arms. So he, um, sometimes I wonder if he has a challenge, because there's not too much James does not do. He's, he's, he's really good, that's my Barry White. That's why I call him. What do you say when your friends turn away and you're all alone? I work with James on one-on-one, -on -one, and he totally enjoys it. When he'll tell me, Miss Genevieve, I feel so confident when you work with me. It gives me the confidence to keep going. Don't forget, you know, when your heart has been broken, you know, make it, make it gentle. When your heart has been broken, okay? And then just relax your hand, because it's gonna come from here, okay, and here. That's what I want them to see, your spirit. Tell me what do you give when you give in your all, yeah, yeah. And it seems like you can't make it. James has opened up. Um, James is out front, and he makes it happen. Tell me what do you do when you've done all you can, and it seems like you can't make it through. And if you forget, don't worry. I want you to deliver the song. I wouldn't be here without my dad or my family to try and keep me supported in a, in a good way. And, and they, they re, and my brother, he is the reason why I continue to do the things that, that we do. And, I just enjoyed the whole experience and I hope for a lot more. Are the arts important for special needs kids? Why and why not? The arts I think is very important for special needs and the reason for that is because it keeps their brains working. Uh, one day the when the students came in for our Saturday classes, I told them that I'd found the finale for our show, and it was the happy song. I knew this was the song when I couldn't stop dancing and singing. It was my whole day from that point on. Yeah, when I played it for them, uh, they all loved it. They all knew what it was. I was the only one that didn't have a clue in the beginning. How's everyone doing out there? Oh, yes. Are you guys ready to get happy? We have to keep the programs going and new things happening. It lets them be a part of society. It allows them to be free. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. The arts should always be there. I think that's just something natural. It's all about the students. It's all about them getting a chance to go on stage in front of an audience live 
and express everything that they have absorbed and learned. We hear music every day. How do you get that music from the radio to your child's voice or for them to act out a song? Through the arts. So that's their time to, to be someone that maybe they weren't born to be, but they can still have fun with it. No offense to you, but don't waste your time. Here's why. Because I'm happy. I'm alone if you feel like a room. We feel that we're communicating to people that don't have children, that have disabilities, that, hey, they're fully rounded individuals. They're not just somebody to treat as an outcast. It's like Lifelong Dream says, they're turning, changing disability to ability. My biggest dream for Lifelong Dreams is that we are successful in making sure that every special needs student, be they a child or a young adult, has the opportunity to be a part of this program, find out who they are, find out what they can do, and at some point in time, show it to the world. like this when I say to myself this is why I do this you know when I can see those kids smiling and having a wonderful time and when they walked in to see the showroom they were like oh, wow and I say yeah this is you guys show so you're the ones who are doing this and you only get to do it one time so let's make it good and they were in order uh, this was just a, a great day for them and I was just happy for them. The kids are the reason why I do what I do. They are the driving force behind everything that I do. They help me get up in the morning. They help me get through the day. They basically have given my life new purpose. I just want them to be happy. You know, I want them to know that somebody cares about them. I want them to know that somebody cares about the quality of life that they lead. I just want them to know that there's some place in this world for them, specifically. Are we happy? Yeah. Are we happy? <sighs> it was a lot of work, but I like the work because it's good to see them happy. No mountains too high for you to I'm, I feel good. I'm happy, happy, happy. But I'm also tired because oh, it's just a lot of work. It has some climbing faith. We had so much fun, you know. It's really because that is a dream come true. For you to make it across. I feel great. I feel like people is noticing me more. They were all excited and, and some of them said they were scared and some of them said they were nervous and some of them said they didn't know how to do this or that. But once they hit that stage, they were pros. And uh, we can't ask for anything better. Uh, I can't wait till the next one. Yeah, I can't wait. It's been um, it's been awesome. And bye, sweetheart. Give me a hug. Hey.
Give me a hug goodbye. Yeah. So good. And when all hope is gone, I'm here. No matter how far you are, I'm near. It makes no difference to who you are. I am your Yes, there is. There's a lot of preparation, a lot that goes into it, you know, behind the scenes, a lot of people don't get to see. And I heard you cry, all you need is time, just seek me and you shall find you. You have everything and you're still lonely, it don't have to be this way. Let me show 